Breaking, Entertainment Mogul Accused of Rape by Three Women Three women have come forward in a New York Times story to describe, in disturbing detail, rapes which they each endured by music mogul Russell Simmons. Several women have already come forward in recent weeks to accuse Simmons of sexual misconduct, but the new allegations, all from notables who have worked with Simmons in the past, may be hard for him to deny. He and director Brett Ratner, pictured above, have been accused of sexually assaulting women together. Simmons has strongly denied all of the allegations. The Daily Mail details the allegations. Drew Dixon told the New York Times she was working as an executive at Def Jam Recordings in 1995 when she was raped by Simmons in his downtown Manhattan apartment after a prolonged campaign of sexual harassment. Tina Baker, a singer who Simmons managed in the early 90s, claims the multimillionaire sexually assaulted her after inviting her back to his place to discuss her career apostrophe. Instead, she claims, he pinned he on the bed and raped her. I did nothing, I shut my eyes and waited for it to end, she said, adding that she was so distraught she didn't sing for a year afterwards. Music journalist Tony Sally shared a very similar story after she went to interview the powerful entertainment mogul in the late 1980s. She claims he invited her back to his apartment for a party he said he was hosting for his friend. But when she arrived, it was just the two of them. Sally says that. Despite her repeated protestations, he forced himself on her and raped her. The women all say they were too scared to report the alleged sexual assaults at the time, but have come forward in the wake of the Harvey Weinstein scandal and the Hash Me Too campaign. The trio are not the first to accuse Simmons of sexual assault. Just last month, Sidney Lumet's daughter Ginny, an actress and screenwriter, accused Simmons of forcing her to have sex with him after allegedly locking her in his car and taking her to his apartment against her will in 1991. And earlier this year, former model Carrie Clauston Kalai claims she too was assaulted by him in the same apartment as Brett Ratner watched.